Well, I got these from uh, Decoupage Central, and I want to fix those up. So I'm going to go out in the garage and see if I have some, I think, a 2x6 for this one and a 2x4 for these two. So I'm going to head out to the garage and see if I can find me some wood. I actually needed uh, probably a 2x8, but I don't have it, so I'm going to have to make this one work. Kind of bring it in some. So I'm going to cut that one off about right there. I don't have any 2 befores, so I'm going to go and cut this splice up there. I should have probably bought... Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, I'm going to use my miter saw and just make my own 2 before. All right, I have my wood cut for what I was thinking beforehand, taking this one and putting it on the big one and then the two small ones. Then I got to thinking if I had to cut this tall and this thin, wouldn't it be cute to put part of it on well, I'm going to have to do it like this. Like part on this and the other part on this one. And they're going to be tall so they could sit side by side. I don't know if I'm explaining myself right or not. So they could sit side by side with part of the picture on this one and part on that one. Well, I could go get the wood and I could try if I have some. I don't know if I have another piece that I could split because I'm going to need to split two pieces this tall. I'm going to go check and see. And then I'm going to cut them and then I'm just going to hold them on there. I don't know. Maybe I just better keep it the way I had it. But I thought that'd be cute to have two pieces of wood this tall this tall, this thin, and have them where they set together. I'm going to go cut my wood and just see what I think. If I have some. I may not have any. Well, I got, I found some more wood. I didn't want to cut this one down. And I did make it just a wee bit taller than I did this one. Or the two of them. I made these taller than this one was. But I didn't want to cut this one in case I changed my mind. But this is what I have in mind of doing. And I'm marking this so I can tell where I want to tear it. I'm going to tear it right fast on each end. Set these aside for a minute. Where's, there's my doom floggy. I gotta get this to flowing. There it goes. Okay. Whoa. Right in here. Good. Let's see how this one does. And I know I need the bottom rip some. And I did get these, I believe I already said, but I got it at Decoupage Central. 
Okay, there. And I'm going to need, let me kind of see where I want to go with these, the top. Like that. And I've kind of played around with the color either way, whichever block I, the two blocks or the one block, I've played around with the color because I don't want the uh, block just a cream or, or black plaster or something. I want a kind of a greenish blue. Whoops. to the side. Let me see how this looks. And if I don't end up liking it, I don't know. I just won't do it again. Yeah, I think that's perfect. And I'll have to... But I am going to wait to do that. I'm just going to kind of crease it. It'll be right down there and then these two blocks would be set in side by side. But the color I have picked, I tried to mix up. Boy, I hope I have enough now that I'm doing two. I'm wondering if I should need to give this a quick base coat of something. Because I don't, I mixed up more, but this, this here is empty. It is Bluegrass by Folk Art. And by Ceram Coat, it is Tahiti Blue. Because I just, this was too blue to me. And that was too green, so I kind of mixed them together. I'm wondering. Sure hoping I have enough. But I think I might water it down just a bit, because it is thick. That way, that'll go a little further. And I'll just make sure the fronts are coated well. Okay. And... I'm going to go over the back of this with plaster to make it make sure the image shows up real good and doesn't blend in with the blue. So I might as well get that done so that can be drying and then I'll paint my blocks. Okay, I'm going to cover the back of this here with plaster to make sure it, since it's going against a darker color. I'm ready to start painting. And I'll just, I mixed, I put some water in that green and got a little more out of it and poured in some more blue. And hopefully it'll work. It'll be the shade I want when it dries. I do believe I'll have enough for all of them. My problem is, I got to thinking, I don't know what I'm going to use to decorate it with because I don't think I have blues. I'll figure something out, hopefully. This is not going to take long to do these. I'll just do all of them. Give them a coat of this, see if they need a second coat, and move on, let them dry, and decoupage on my pieces. I did put a coat of the Waverly plaster on the back of my images. I was trying to get a quick coat on here and kind of hold the image up to it and see how it looks with the color. Of course, it's not going to be dry. Okay, let's see here. This is kind of wet. Oh yeah, I think those colors are gonna go good together. Yep. 
Okay, I'm gonna keep painting and I'll be back when I finish painting these. Well, I have them painted and now I'm gonna Mod Podge this part on. Make sure they're even because I want to. Okay, I'm just gonna go. Hope I can feel where that's at. Because I'm gonna have to cut them. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. that was right and I'm also if you can see the sides are a little more rounded on one side and I want to make sure the more squared side is on the inside where they'll be facing like that okay do I want that down And I want it right on the edge. And I believe it is. So I'm going to start down here. Oh yeah, I want my water. I want a thin coat and water. Okay, don't. I don't know if that'll help since I've painted that back side though. Where's? So far, so good. I'll probably sand that down on the sides. Okay. spray it because it did kind of seem to help and it doesn't matter whether I move the Mod, Mod Podge all the way up because I think it down as far as I need to. Spray it. You see, I didn't paint all the way to the edges on some of this. You can see it would have really turned it. I have not put the uh, plaster color on the back. You see more blue right in here on the edges. All right, that looks good. Now for this side. Where'd my paper go? There it is. Now put these together. Um, have to be on the bottom. All 
right, right there. back this way. a little bit more and we'll see how they fit together and look. Did I get that all? I don't want it puddled underneath there. Making sure my edges are down good. Now, let's see kind of what they look like together. All right. I got it. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and Mod Podge the other small ones on here. And then figuring out how to decorate them. Okay, I am going ahead and going over the top with the Mod Podge. Okay, I'm starting with one, and I'm going to finish it all the way through. Well, not all the way, but I'll finish it when I'm, how I'm coating the top of the paint and stuff. Left my finger sander at the store. So, I found this little thing, and it was a piece of sandpaper that goes on the finger sander. So, I've stuck it down in there, and I'm using that. It's not working as good, but it is working. Okay, now I'm going to put some clear wax on it. And I'm using the Fusion. I'll make sure I got that good. That's pretty just like that. Just to sit around. I like that. Just plain. Makes me wonder if I even want to do anything else to it. Hmm. Well, I mean, as far as like, I've got these here out. They're real pumpkin stems. I got off my pumpkins last year, and some of them were kind of white, pretty white, and I put some, uh, Waverly antiquing wax on them and wiped it back real good so they have just a bit of color because I mean this was just they were just really pale now don't want too much on my brush I definitely want it on the wood where I sanded it Wipe it back. Piece 
sees something coming up there. Well, I guess it's not coming up. I think I got that a little too heavy. So I'm going to put some clear wax on the picture itself. I'm going to wipe it back a little more. Okay. Now I am going to glue the stem on it. Yep, that's the one, because the other one I want going that way. Yeah. So I am going to use some, I've got this welder. It's called the welder. Put a little dab of that on there, and then some hot glue for a quick hold. Want that turn like that. And in the middle. Okay, I'm going to do the rest of them like this, and then I'll be ready to do something up here to kind of decorate it. I just wanted to show you what I was doing right now. I'm waiting for all my stems to dry and I don't have blue materials. So I went and found some of my seam binding and I think like mixing that in with it will do fine and mixing some of this in. I've just, and there's like some gray lace seam binding this is all seam binding. I have a bunch of it. I mean, I see them at the thrift store, and I'll pick them up, and I have a certain spot I storm. I forget that I have it, but, yeah, this was, this is old here. Well, this is old. This is seam binding, 15 cents. You don't buy it for 15 cents anymore. There's 15 cents. This is a little bit newer. It was 39. Oh, must have been a little newer, 98. I, 98 cents. I just noticed that. And I think the seam binding I bought last, gosh, it was over $2. There's one for 75 cents. That fit right in between there. Anyways, that's what I'm going to, I'm just going to be working on a messy bow. I don't even know if I want to use it, but it's really all I have. So I'm going to be trying to do up a little bow and get one going and see if I like it. There's some more seam binding. Doesn't say how much it was. It was probably on a roll because they probably bought it by the yard or something. Okay, I'm gonna start working on this, see what I can come up with. Okay, so here is what I've come up with. I had one done up with all this, but I pulled it apart because it needed a touch of orange and not quite so many different strands. I had a lot in this one and it was too thick. So I tried this and I do like the touch of the brown and the orange and then one piece of blue. And of course, here's the uh, coffee dyed. Oh, it's probably like a a, a doily or a, a something you buy, like a tablecloth or something that's been coffee dyed. That was in my happy mail from Margaret. So that's what I've come up. Now I've come up with, now I've got to do three more. And yeah, it's a mess everywhere in here. It always is. And there sits Kit Kat on my printer. I have to keep it covered to keep the cat hair out of it. It's covered with the plastic that I put around it and then a towel, which I take down and wash and then throw a clean one up there and I just alternate. But yeah, she loses hair. Okay, I'm going to continue working. I am using my Bodabra. I'm not good at it, but I'm, it still helps hold it in place. 
So I'm going to continue on and do three, let's see, one, two, three more of them. Okay, well, I finished those two, and I ended up putting, um, I had some of this. I just cut a piece off and put in the center, because it kind of brings in the colors. And now I have to do the two small ones, and I won't do those quite as big and heavy on the smaller ones. And I also used some of this here. I'll link it down below. I got it off of Amazon and I twisted those around my dowel rod to make the little tendrils coming off. So I have two more to go now. And on the last one, I might stop and let you see the, pro the whole process. All right, I'm gonna do the last one. And like I said, I am not good at doing the bow dabber. So let's see, which do I want to I want it not I'm not gonna make this one as thick. So I think I'm gonna start with a piece of blue. And I'm not making the bow as big. I don't think. I'm going to try not to. Okay, cut that off. Now my brown. I think I'll do the orange next. see where my other one's at. Now that is twisted. Not like that. Now my brown. I need to cut both of those off. Get them out of my way. And now I'm going to go with a piece of this. I didn't put, I'm not going to put any of this in there because it will make it thicker. Was this here? Somehow. Well, I'll put that back together later. Oh, my blue. Oh, I have a blue. Okay. Have the blue. Okay. I'll tie it off. Come here. Pull that really tight. Okay, now I'm just going to shake it.
that one little strand there is pretty long. It need to be turned. I just wanted a hint of the blue to come out. I'll cut that after I get this on there. Now, I don't remember if I told you, but I'm going to take some uh, Spanish moss. Put it on and I kind of go up underneath that too okay where's my little I burnt the crud out of my finger a while ago got a white mark That's good. Okay. I'll put my bow on. Better hold it for a little bit. Okay, I'll just leave that like that. And now, it's probably good my wire cutters. Now, where do I want this? It's kind of big. about right there. And when that gets good and dry, I'll move it all around, but I wanna let it dry. Then it'll snip me off a piece of this or the center. I don't want a real big piece. Ow! I knew it. I got that same place again. <laughs> Flipping it. I did. I got the same exact place. Ow. I can't pull it off right now. I'll pull my skin. Ah. Okay, I'll put it on here and put it down. And I have my finger protector right here. Yeah, I'm afraid to pull that off. I'll take my skin and all. Ouch. I'm just going to clip the worst of it off. I'm going to mess with it later. A 
and leave it alone. Because, I mean, it's on that same spot that was white. Oh, well, I've done it way worse before. All right, now I need to look at this and clip it down. Okay, it is done. Got a little moss hanging out. Make sure that's all secured, but not with my bad finger. 